Hi, my name is Dave Holland and I'm the CEO of Solar Systems uh, based in Australia. Solar Systems is the developer of solar power station technology that con uh, is, uses concentrating PV or CPV. So we build power stations, operate them, and are looking to expand internationally. Dave, would you please describe the principle behind concentrating photovoltaics and the scale necessary for such systems? Sure. The, um, concentrating solar, if we break it into two parts, concentrating solar is about producing a high density piece of energy that you can then convert into electricity. So uh, if you think about solar energy, there's a huge amount of it. 17,000 times as much energy lands on the planet every day as what mankind uses but it's very dilute. So we can stand outside in the sun and we just get a little bit sunburned and we're trying to compete with energy sources that are very high density, such as a, a uh, steam turbine and a, a gas fired power station. So what concentrator systems do is they concentrate the energy, in our case 500 times, and then we convert it to electricity using very high efficiency uh, photovoltaics. So three to five times more efficient than typical PV systems. In the scale? Um, there's no real restriction on the scale. So there are some CPV systems that could be uh, set up as small as uh, a rooftop system, say for a domestic application. And uh, Solar Systems is in the process of building a 154 megawatt uh, power station in Australia. So there's no real limitation on the scale. What were the initial CPV installations uh, of your company and what lessons has Solar Systems learned about deploying those systems? Well, we've built about uh, five or six stations in Australia and we're building another five at, at the current time. And the earliest one was we, we took a power station that had previously been a solar thermal power station, a concentrated solar thermal system. Uh, that was back in 1997 and uh, we converted it to PV. Uh, we tripled the output of the station and ran it for a number of years as a, as a test site uh, before we went into production with our own uh, power stations. And I guess the, the key learnings that uh, we've had is that if we're going to be building power stations and addressing the power station market, that we have to build industrial strength systems. We need lots of experience. We need full systems that can operate, maintain, and manage those things. And the capability of both the technology and the company have to be up to what the market for power stations expects. What are the compelling reasons or conditions under which CPV is superior to other types of solar collection? Well, CPV or any concentrator systems excel when there's a high amount of direct solar radiation. So basically a concentrator doesn't work if there's, the light's not producing a shadow. So in parts of the world where there's a lot of diffuse light, say uh, from high level cloud or where there's large levels of cloud, uh, those areas aren't so good for concentrators. But areas uh, where there is a lot of direct uh, solar radiation are particularly good. So solar concentrators all track the sun and uh, so, so that they can concentrate, they have to be pointing at the sun. And, and uh, that means that areas like uh, much of California or the southwest of the US, for instance, are ideal for concentrators. And what needs to happen to realize the potential of CPV? Are there still technical hurdles to be overcome? Well, I, I, think, uh, I think what we need to do is, is we need to get it into the market faster than the natural market would, would accept the technology. So governments need to come to the table and, and assist the acceleration of technology. And then the US government, for instance, with its uh, investment tax credits is doing a lot to help that, um, as well as that. The proponents of the technology need to recognize that the burden is on them to prove the technology and to mature it rather than expecting customers to just take technology that's only really in prototype form.